The first query we have to look at is the flat list of work items query. So what is a flat list of work items query and what does it look like? This flat list of work items is going to be just a simple collection of work items without a hierarchy represented. This means you won't see things like the parent of any given work item type in the query results itself. So we'll start by simply building a query of all of the work items in my project. And for that, all I need is one single line that says work item type, any, and we can see that we have all of the different work items from this project in this query. Whether it's a user story, an epic, a feature, or a test case, all of them show up as a result of this query. Now, if we wanted to show something like only our user stories, we could do that by simply using the work item type line here and selecting a value of user story. We could then go ahead and run that query, and we'll see that the results are adjusted to be only our user stories. We could specify that we want user stories with a specific property simply by going to the add new clause, saying we want it to be the work item type of user story, and we'd also like it to have, say, the priority set to one. And we can run that query as well. And we can see that we don't have any work items anymore because no, none of these work items have a priority of one. So we can go ahead and say, or, and let's see what we get here. By selecting or, we're saying that we want either a work item type of user story or any work item that has a priority of one. And we don't see any work items here, but if we did have, say, an epic with priority one, it would show up here in this list. So a flat list of work items allows you to build queries without showing the hierarchy. And the work items that you bring in from this query can be specified based on a specific property or a specific work item type. And you could also go ahead and build a flat list query that shows multiple work item types. The way you would do this is you would select the first work item type. You could specify another property of that work item or don't, we're not going to. And we can go ahead and say, or the work item type can be of, let's say our test cases. So we'll show all of our user stories and all of our test cases. So it just has to match one of these credentials. And we simply run it, and we'll see that our query now expands to have not just user stories, but also all the test cases. And now what we could do is we could build this for our epics, features, user stories, and test cases. And if we wanted to show this on our dashboard, we could easily turn this into a chart. The way which we turn uh, queries into charts is you take a flat list of work items that you've built a query for, and you go into the charts tab. We can see that we have to save our query first, so let's go back here quickly. We'll save this query. We'll save it in the shared queries folder so that it can be used in modules like uh, the trace analysis matrix or wherever you'd like to use it. And we'll name this uh, user stories and test cases. We'll hit OK. And we can go back into our charts module and we're ready to build a new chart. So we'll select new chart. We'll select either a pie, a bar graph, a pie chart, a column graph, a stacked bar, or pivot table. I'm going to leave it as simply a bar graph. And I can choose here what I want to group these by. And I don't want to group them by state. I want to group them by work item type. So here, let's hit OK. And we built our chart. And we can go ahead and assign this chart to a dashboard simply by selecting a dashboard from here. And we'll see that chart over on our dashboard.